What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and we got ourselves a banger of a video today. We got ourselves a Life Orb Adaptability Porygon Z Team for you guys. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. But this Porygon Z Team, you guys already know a lot about it, is very, very strong considering it focuses on some meta Pokemon in today's meta like Incineroar, Urshifu, you got Amoongus, Regilecki, and also Tornado. So this one's going to be fun. Rocking out in our front spot, we got Tornadus in the top left corner. Flying type only with Air Slash, Icy Wind, Taunt, and Tailwind. It's basically there to kind of set up Tailwind or Taunt, Trick Room, Slash, Tailwind users, or any support mod like that. We got Prankster and the Scissor Spray as well. Our next Pokemon, Porygon Z, hard-hitting Pokemon with the Life Orb and Adaptability. Does huge damage when I'm using stab moves. It's like double damage with the stab moves, plus Life Orb damage on top of it. We got Hyper Beam, Thunderbolt for coverage, Dark Pulse for coverage, and then Protect. Got yeah, my face cam is the one and only Amoongus, this little Pokeball mushroom over here with the Regenerator and Focus Ash. We can Spore, we can Rage Powder, and then we have Sludge Bomb for attack move and Protect as a nice little support. Incineroar right next to him with the Intimidate Fire Dark type. You guys already know plenty about this thing. You can Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Taunt, Party Shot. Very, very good Pokemon. You can control battles with it and end up winning just because of him. Urshifu in the bottom left, an amazing Pokemon right here. But this one has a coverage move of Poison Jab, which I actually really, really like considering it's a little bit different instead of having that uh, just normal move set on him. But then the other three moves are pretty straightforward. We got Sucker Punch, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, and then the item of the Choice Band, and then he can hit through Protects with his ability on C Fist. Then in the final spot, we got Regilecki, Stab Electric all around. He's just an electric Pokemon with the Choice Specs as well, which is awesome. So we're going to be able to do some big damage with him. We got T-Bolt. Bolt Switch, Electro Web, and Hyper Beam. We're not going all electric out. We got Hyper Beam just for a little coverage move in case something just eats up electric moves. But guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy's got a Zapdos, Metagross, Tapu Fini, Spectrary, Incineroar, and Porygon 2 right here. This is looking a little tough. A lot of strong meta Pokemon, but hopefully we can counter it and kind of get after it. Uh, we have very strong Pokemon as well, so I, I can still see us win this match. I feel like Metagross is just a big threat here. It's a Metagross. Um, hmm, who should I lead? I think Tornadus, Porygon Z kind of covers a lot of it. We have that Dark Move special effective against the Metagross. Um, I think that's fine. I think we're fine to do that. Let me bring these two. And then in the back spot, we bring... Do I bring Incineroar? I might bring Incineroar. I definitely want Urshifu. I feel like Urshifu just thrives all around. It can hit hard. And it's pretty fast as well. And I'm thinking final spot, we might go Regilecki. Just fast. Can hit hard too. I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking that. I see we do it. I see we get after it with Choice Spec Regilecki. I did want... I do want Incineroar though. There we go. Incineroar over Regilecki. I mean... Hmm... Nah, yo, let's go Regilecki. I want to go Regilecki. He's such a cool Pokemon. He's very fast. He hits like a truck, and he has choice specs on him as well. But hopefully we can, uh, we can, uh, get started where we left off in the last video. Last video, if you guys haven't checked it out, was an awesome Blaziken video. We went 2-1 with it. Absolutely slapped up. The team was phenomenal. It was very, very strong. So hopefully we can kind of, like, keep it rolling. Try to get some more wins with this team and some wins for this video. But who is this guy going to lead? Where are you going to lead? Is he going to lead the Metagross? I can maybe say it. No, nope, because Incineroar on top of Finny, which I, I guess I'm fine with. He's going to fake me out turn one. Um, I'm both special attacking. And I think I just Dynamax my Porygon Z here. I think that's totally fine. I think I just Dynamax Porygon Z and I get after somebody. Which I'm thinking probably Incineroar. And we just get after the Incineroar and we start rolling from there. Dimonade's gonna drop. That's fine. That is totally fine. Uh, hmm. uh Icy Wind, do I taunt? I'd love to get off a Tailwind, but I feel like maybe Top of Finny might taunt us. But he's gonna fake. He's gonna go for the fake out. But I don't think we're gonna need the uh, tailwind right now, considering we're just gonna drop speed. Considering we're just gonna drop speed, I'd rather just uh, get, get after a Incineroar with a max strike and see what happens from here. Because I don't want this thing like eating up and then uh, potentially uh, it's gonna withdraw Finny, which I really, really like. That's totally fine by me. And Porygon Two is gonna come out here, so we're gonna get off a nice little. Uh, we're not even gonna tailwind. We're gonna get off our air slash. So this guy, this thing might be going for his tailwind. Or is a trick or which I can just double up into a slide afterwards, which is actually very, really, really nice. And then I had that Regilecki in the back end for that top of Finny, so that shows a nice little play for us. But Dynamax here, I, I feel like none of these Pokemon are going to Dynamax. It's probably the Finny or whatever he has behind the Finny, which could be a Metagross. It could definitely be a Metagross, but I'm kind of happy I didn't set up the trick room. I'm actually really happy I didn't. You don't fake me out anyway. Or not the, not the trick room, the Tailwind. Let's see what you're going to do, dude. He's not. He is not going for that. He might just parting shot out. He's not going for the uh, the fake out. That's that's odd. That's odd. Let's get after it with this. 
think big damage and we just dump on it. Tell it to get out of my face. That's how strong this thing is. Absolutely just dumps it on this thing. Let's get it. Alright, now he's probably gonna throw out Metagross, in my opinion. I think he's I think he has that as his final mod. I can totally see that happening. Again, I do not want a tailwind. I think I'm just gonna air slash yeah, here comes the Metagross. Now is the Metagross going to guard? That's a question. Do I read it? Say it's gonna guard. Actually, I could just do this. Let's do that. We cover a lot here. We'll go max darkness over on this thing. And we'll get popping. I think that's the play. Let's see. He's gonna ally switch. I mean, okay. I mean, okay. Kinda he's gonna get off a of trick room, which is tough. That's kinda tough. Nice play. I'll give him the, I'll give him a nice play. Here goes our darkness. Man, dude, he's gonna be able to get off a of trick room. That's not gonna KO this thing. That ability, uh, Max Strike might have been able to KO that thing. But this thing can't ally switch anymore. He's definitely gonna get off that trick room. We kinda know that. Let's see it. Yep, here it is. Okay, so trick room is is out. It's rolling. Uh, do I taunt? I think I taunt again. So this thing can't recover or anything. Let me just get after this Metagross. I think we just had to get after this Metagross. He's gonna Dynamax it. Right? Might as well proc the policy. We might as well do as much damage as we can while we have our uh, last Dynamax turn. If he was smart, he's gonna guard here. And if he guards here, that's a high chance of him winning. But I know that Urshifu can come in here and hit him with a hard Sucker Punch. And potentially pick up the KO with it. But I do have Urshifu and Regilek. And Regilek, I'm gonna need to put it back in for the top of Vinny. So if I can get rid of this Metagross, I feel like we should be thriving here. But I'm gonna try to taunt this Porygon too, just so I can't recover and heal up and just be a pester down the road. Here comes my taunt. Get it out of my face. I'm not dealing with the Porygon too, but that was a solid ally switch. That was a really good ally switch from him. He's just gonna go straight for an Ice Beam, which is totally fine by me. Over onto Tornadus. So eat that up, baby. It's a tasty snacky out there. Let's go. And now this thing's gonna go for a Steel Spike over onto Porygon. Porygon should be able to eat. Yep. And that actually works out fine for us. We didn't trigger policy, and then he picks up the KO. So now we get to waste another turn of his uh, Dynamax. I'm a fan of. He's gonna boost defense. Here comes a nice little Max Darkness. This thing's definitely policy, right? It's gotta be policy. That's huge damage. That is huge damage. Sucker Punch gonna be able to roll out and pick up that KO easily. Easily, baby. Easily. He loves it. There's the policy. Now he's gotta make a decision on who to go after. Now you gotta make a decision on who to go after. I think I just set the terrain. I could just, oh no, I can't anymore. I'm out of Dynamax turns. So I was gonna say, I should set the terrain for my for my boy. Um, I'm just gonna go for an Air Slash. Over on Porygon. I do a little bit of damage. And then I guess we'll just Dark Pulse. Man, it's a play. I think our two back end Pokemon could win this battle easily. I think, I think we're thriving here. We gotta be able to eat this. Eat this up. I love you. I love you, Tornadus. The best. And we get our berry. And we get our citrus berry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Porygon's gonna go down. That's a fact. That's fine. He's gonna steal some again. He's gonna boost his defense, but again, we have Regilecki. And we have Urshfu. I'm gonna throw out Urshfu. We're gonna suck a punch. We're gonna get rolling from here. Am I Choice Bandit? Is that a Choice Band, Urshfu? Well, like, I'm fine. I have the Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is gonna win a scene. Like I said, once we get rid of this Metagross, we should be thriving here. That KO? Oh my god, that almost KOs. That almost KOs. We are Choice Bandit. Yeah, Sucker Punch is gonna have to be the move. Because we have to get first hit. We have to get first hit on this. We have to take out the Metagross, because if we don't Sucker Punch, he's gonna take us out. That's And then it's GG. Air Slash coming out here. And then Sucker Punch is gonna have to be our Choice Band move. And then Regilecki can just pop up on that top of me. I'm liking this. Get out of my face, dude. What you want, Metagross? What you want? Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Yo, we thriving. Good call with the Regilecki at the end. I don't know if we would've won this match if, uh... I don't think we would've won it if we would've brought Incineroar. Because Finny just eats up on Urshifu and... What's it called? He eats up on Urshifu and, uh... And Incineroar. It would've just muddy water or scald, and then Moonblast would've took out my Urshifu one shot, no problem. No taunt for him anymore. And there goes the terrain, and now it's Trick Room gone. This thing might recover, but the only thing I'm worried about is going to be that Tapu Finny. I got a, I got a Choice Spec into something. Which might be Electro Web, just slow these boys down. But again, they are tricking. There's Regilecki, yeah. Yeah, boy. Get it. Get it. Misty Surge back on the field. Oh, wait, what Surge was on the field? Yeah, it wasn't Misty Surge, because he originally led the Tapu Finny and then swapped. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I think I just, I think I just go into this. 
much, as much as I want to slow down, I think I'd rather just go into a T-Bolt. Try to do as much damage as I can. There's Foos who's going to go for a Sucker Punch. I don't think, I think I Sucker Punch. What did I Sucker Punch on? This thing might recover, but I can see the Finny protecting, so. I can definitely see Finny protecting this turn. This thing just recovering. Let's get it. Come on. Let me get after it. Let me get after it. Oregon 2 cannot. He has to go for a recovery. He has no taunt, though. Which is he's lucky. Lucky. Oh, it does come out. He was going for a hitting move. That's huge. That should be game now. That should be game. The only way I saw us losing was him just recovering up, getting some HP and kind of pestering around. Moonblast's going to come out here. That should probably take us out. Yeah, times four. But my boy Regilecki should be able to clutch this one up for us. He should be able to eat up at least one shot or just KO this thing in one shot. T-Bolt, stab, choice back. Come on, KO game. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. Yo, Regilecki coming in clutch. Oh, and he gets a crit. Just to rub it in. Just to rub it in. But 1-0 to start off this video. We come through our second battle and try to get a win streak rolling here. Second battle coming at you guys. We're rocking out here. We are 1-0. Looking to get a win streak rolling. This guy's got a pretty decently meta team. He's got the Zapdos, the Glacier, the Kartana, Incineroar, Porygon 2 for the Trick Room, and Tapu Fini. I feel like, uh, who do we got to bring in here? Who do we got to bring I feel like same team kind of does work. But I feel like Incineroar also does work, considering it's the Kartana, the Glacier. Yeah, Incineroar is definitely going to come in here. Um, do I even need a Tailwind Pokemon? Do I even need Tornadus? I might go Incineroar, Porygon, and then roll off from there. I feel like that's the play. Let's go Incineroar, Porygon Z. Potentially Dynamax, Porygon Z. First turn, Urshifu. And then in the final spot, I feel like we roll Regilecki just for that top of Fini coverage. He's like, he's like half speed, and then he's like not too fast, too. It's like weird. He has Glacier, who's not too fast. Zapdos, who's not too fast. Cartana, which is pretty fast. It's like, it's like weird, you know what I'm saying? Like, Zapdos is mid. Top of Fini's like mid. Glacier is pretty slow. He has the Porygon Z for the Trick Room, which I probably should have led Tornadus just for the fact of that. But at the same time, we can fake out and kind of get after that Porygon, too. But I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So let's see. If he leads Porygon 2, we're just going to get effort. He's going to go Zapdos and Incineroar, which I'm totally fine with. I think, are these both physical attackers? I feel like Zapdos can go either way. But Zapdos can learn Drill Peck, which is a physical move. I'm going to put on pressure, which is totally fine. I don't really I don't really care for pressure. It just lowers the PP of my moves. That's that's totally fine. I mean, that's not too, that's not a special, that's not that good in competitive. Like, there's better ones. Intimidate's going to pop here. I mean, I'll go uh, Intimidate for Intimidate. And I think I just fake out his Incineroar. Let's just get after this. We're going to go Max Strike. And who do I get after? I think I get after Incineroar more so than the Zapdos. I think that Incineroar is just a pester. So if I fake him out, he might swap. I don't want to fake out the Zapdos, but now we're going to fake out the Incineroar. I would, I would love to actually go for a party shot. That probably would have been a play. He's going to Dynamax that Zapdos. That's a fact. The Zapdos is going to get the Dynamax. We're going to get the Dynamax here. Maybe I should have went after Zapdos. But is Zapdos just going to Airstream? I can totally see that happening. But I don't really see him doing half of our damage on our Porygon Z. Which could be nice. And I am going to slow him down. Which is which I love. That's what I love about Porygon Z. It's stab and it slows down the opponent. So it's just like, if you're not rolling, like, I'm not rolling Tailwind here. I can just slow them down with my, uh, with my Max Strike. And kind of get after it like that. And start controlling battle that way. But let's get it rolling. Let's get it popping. Bang. Let's go. Porygon going up to 132? 122. 122. We get it. We get it. Let's see what's going to happen. Is my fake out going to come out first? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're not doing damage to me. <laughs> I'm going to fake you out. He's going to go for the airstream. That's fair. Fair play to make over on my Porygon. And it does do more than half. He's going to boost me. He's still going to be faster than me. That's, that's a little rough. That's a little rough. B just boosted. Uh, Incineroar is probably going to go down here, which I kind of like. We're going to go for a max strike. We're going to slow him down. I think I think Incineroar drops here, which is pretty nice. Let's see. Yeah, Incineroar is gone. Big damage. I think I guard here. I think the play is guard. Go into maybe a parting shot onto Zapdos. And then roll from there. Right, that might be play. He's definitely going to go after my Porygon. He's got to go after my Porygon. And then I just parting shot. Lower that thing special attack. He's going to send out Finny. Who do I lower? I think I lower, uh, oh, yo, that's a, that's a zesty Finny. I'm really not too worried about the Finny unless it starts, like, calm minding. Then I'm gonna be worried about it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's fight this one. Max guard this. And then we go into that parting shot. Yeah, that's the play. Let's parting shot onto the Zapdos. And then we have to get out Regilecki. Here goes my guard. Hopefully he go he's gotta go for an airstream over on the Porygon, right? Yeah. 
And I think Regileki will outspeed all these guys. There's a skull. That's totally fine. It's an should be able to eat up just fine. Oh my god, that did so much more than I thought it was. And it wasn't even a crit. That did so much more than I thought it was going to do. <laughs> I thought it was going to bring us down like yellow. We probably shot out. We have Incineroar for the back end, which is which will be helpful. There's that there's that uh, attack drop. And wait a minute. Regileki should be able to outspeed that thing. And if I drop an Electro Web... If I drop an Electro Web, I can potentially take out that Zapdos. The plays. The plays. Right? I go here. Then I just electro web. Slow them both down. I think this could work. This could work. This could work. Let me do mad damage to the finish slot. This could work. Hold up, Jeans. Jeans, you got this, baby. Go ahead, Porygon. Bro. Oh, come on, man. Take this thing out. Take this thing out. Let's get it. Come on. Get it out of my face. Yo, my God. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes. The plays, the plays. See, like, when I make bad plays, I know, guys. I know they are tremendously, they are just absolutely terrible. They're absolutely terrible plays. And you guys roast me in the comment section down below. But when your boy makes good plays, you know there's some good plays. You know there are some good plays. That was awesome. Get out. Uh, Top of Finney is really nothing now. We're just going to Web be able to take it out. And then we have Urshifu in the back end and Incineroar. Go Incineroar again, I think. And just go Incineroar just for his Intimidate on whatever, whatever Pokemon he has. It'll be Kartana. Huge. That's fine by me. I can slow it down and maybe Incineroar comes out here. Picks up the KO with a Flare Blitz. That's going to be big. That is going to be big. Nice big old Intimidate coming out here. I definitely fake out Kartana here. Right? Yeah, because Kartana is pretty fast. I'm going to fake out Kartana. And then I just go for Electro Web. Take out Tapu Fini. No problem. Slow down that Kartana. We thrive. And then I can slow it down again and guarantee my Flare Blitz coming out here and taking out the Kartana. Unless he has another Pokemon that can take out my Incineroar. There's my Electro Web. Sticking on him. Sticking on him. Making him all slow and whatnot. Give me that speed drop. Because I still think a minus one Kartana might be able to outspeed Incineroar. But no way a minus two. Not a chance. He's flinching. Regilecki, yo. MVP so far. Battle number one, he clutched up. Battle number two, he's clutching up again. Flare Blitz should be able to come out here. And then a nice little Electro Web should be able to do the speed drop that we needed to. Battle was canceled. Yo, let's get it. 2-0. We can hop into our third and final battle and look for a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And we're looking for that perfect record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We're looking for it for you guys. This guy has Nihilego, Galarian Zapdos, which I absolutely love. Big Ostrich Pokemon, Talonflame, Feromosa, Galarian Moltres. That thing's a beast. And then Grimmsnarl in the final spot. He might lead that, uh, he might lead Talonflame. So I think Tornadus isn't a bad Pokemon to go into here. But that Nihilego is really annoying. Really, really annoying. Um, I cannot go into Incineroar this round because he has the, uh, what's that ability? Defiant on that Zapdos? But I really don't want to do that. I definitely want to bring Regilecki. Definitely a fire Pokemon right here. I think that lead of Porygon Z and Tornado just kind of rocks out. It's really good. It is really good. But at the same time, if he leads Nihilego, he dumps on my Tornado, gets the Beast Boost, and he's plus two already. But then I just bring out another Pokemon, so I'm kind of fine with that. Let's just go Urshfu and Regilecki. I like. I'm really liking the team. Amoongus isn't showing. Uh, isn't getting no sunlight today. Amoongus, no sunlight for him. He has Tailwind, but again, I have it as well, and I could taunt. Which, which my plan would be to taunt right off the rip. The Talonflame can't get it, and then potentially go into my own Tailwind. But I see him leading Nihilego and Talonflame. Like that, that would be my lead if I was playing this team. I could just send a meteor beam straight to Tornadus, and I would be thinking that Tornadus is coming in, right? Because I am bringing Tornadus. Let's see who he leads. Let's see if he's smart. Talonflame and Faramo. Okay. And Faramosa over here. This thing is crazy, man. We're going to see popping. Um, I'm going to Dynamax. I'm getting effort. I'm Dynamax. I'm getting effort. I'm going to taunt. Definitely taunt right here. Taunt you. Is he going to taunt me? Hold up. Do we have to make that play again? Is he going to taunt me? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Fairmost probably Sash. Totally see that happening. Hmm. Should we do this? Oh no, no, no. I want to actually go for an icy win. I want to go for an icy win. That's why, that's why I said I'm gonna do this, and then I was gonna say, and I'm gonna go icy win. But I guess not, because I see Fairmost being totally Sash here. I really do say it. Hopefully, my taunt comes out. Or maybe he doesn't go for a taunt. Maybe he's going for a uh, a tailwind here. That'd be nice. And I get a nice little taunt on this bird. 
one shot through. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Big plays. Big plays, jeans. And that bird's that bird's not having it. That bird's not having it. He cannot use. I don't even know what he's trying to use. Triple Axe comes out here. Can we eat? If it hits all three times, we're not eating. Stop it. Stop it. It hits all. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we eat up a third one with our Citrus Berry health? I don't think we can. Don't you dare hit me again. Okay, only two times. I'm with it. I'm with it. Strike coming out here. We're going to slow them down. Hopefully, Tornado's can outspeed now. This thing's definitely Sash, right? Faramos is always Sash. Always Sash. I can go into an Icy Wind. I believe I outspeed Faramosa now. Icy Wind should be able to take it out. And then we just take out Talon from here and set Electric Surge. For my Regilecki for later. For later, please. Icy Wind, yeah. Bink. And then just bink this thing up. And Talonflame's probably going to go for like a Brave Bird. Use this Gale Wings to its advantage here. He's going to withdraw Talonflame. Okay. Who are you going to go into? You know what? I'm fine by that. Is this part flying? Yeah, it is part flying. Nice little electric move coming out here. Icy Wind's going to do that. Faramosa, out my face, yo. We buzzing today. We buzzing. We looking to go 3-0? and oh? Yo, Gene is rolling. After I went 0-3, oh now we're just buzzing. I went 0-3. Oh this thing got the flying boosted. We got to take him out. Get him out of here. Get him out my face. Get him out of here. I need this thing out of here. I wish I would have uh, went after it with a uh, a uh, max strike with adaptability. Can we KO it? All right, we get it out of here anyway. Yo, we drive it. Now all he has is Talonflame, another one. He's probably just going to cancel this battle, and Porygon Z is going to be buzzing for the day. Porygon Z is so good. It is so good. I absolutely loved it when it came released in, uh, what was it? Olive Armor, right? Yeah, Olive Armor released it. I absolutely fell in love with this thing. Let's go. Make a move, boss man. Make a move, kid. You're playing against Jeans, the online gaming community champion of the world. He's the best to ever do it. <laughs> Who's he gonna eat? Yeah, obviously, that's Talonflame. I can see him cancel, but this next Pokemon besides Talonflame is definitely a Zynax Pokemon, which I'm gonna target down and get after. I might actually set up a Tailwind now, or I can just Icy Wind and go into a, uh, a what's it called? A Strike. And then Spinal Mon is going to be. This is who I thought he was gonna lead. This is who I thought he was gonna lead. And I'm just gonna Tailwind here. I'm just gonna slow Nihilego down and take out Talonflame. Because Nihilego can just go for a, uh, a Meteor Beam, which I can see him actually going for it this turn and then Dynamaxing. Try to get that double boost and then roll off from there. But again, we have Urshifu in the back end. We should be thriving. We should be thriving with this battle. I just like he can't really do too, too, too much. Okay, he's just gonna Dynamax. He's just gonna Dynamax and he's not even gonna waste his Meteor Beam. He's just gonna probably drop a rock. This is last ditch effort from him. Is it or it could be Talonflame. It could be Talonflame. No, it's gonna be Jellyfish. King Jellyfish from SpongeBob. If you guys ever played SpongeBob Battle of Bikini Bottle? Bat Battle of Bikini Bottom. There, can't speak right now. This is the first boss. And Jellyfish Fields, the giant King Jellyfish, that's him right there. SpongeBob stole from Pokemon. I, I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> hey, one gets out here. This thing's gonna Tailwind as well. Um now who outspeeds? No Lego probably outspeeds me. Let's see. Yeah, Rockfall's gonna come out here. Probably on Tornado. He's gonna get his beast boost. And he's gonna start rolling. We're gonna slow it down, though. And we're gonna take out. We're gonna be able to take out uh, what's called as well Talonflame, which is huge. Talonflame, yeah. Get him out of here, yeah. Alright, now. There's the beast boost. And that. This guy still has a chance. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it's over yet. I'm not saying it's over yet. Every time I say it's over, we lose. This should KO. Yeah. Now I'm playing out of here. Mwah, get him out of here, boy. This thing's gone. Speed's dropping on the hill, Lego. Um, and we have Tailwind, so most of my Pokemon should be able to outspeed him now. We're going to take a little bit of buffet damage, and I think I just get out Urshifu. Get Urshifu. Or, no, let's get out Regilecki here. Let's get out Regilecki, considering we have the terrain rolling, so I might as well use his turns to our advantage. Regilecki get bouncing up and down. And I'm going to just drop a T-Bolt, try to do as much damage as I can. Potentially get a Paralyze. And then, uh... Do I drop a Hyper Beam? Hyper Beam could be the play. Belly Belly eat that. Nah, let's just go. I said we just go T-Bolt. We got the terrain up. And I'm liking it the best. And double chance at Paralyze. Let's get after this thing. Do we both outspeed? I know Regilecki will outspeed. At least faster than him in general. There goes Regilecki. Mwah. Doing some damage. Give me the Para. Give me the Para. Another T-Bolt. Two chances at Paras. Give it to me. Are you serious, bro? What you mean? You're gonna go for a Rockfall over on who? Regilecki would be the play. Okay, yeah, Regilecki's dead. This thing's boosting. This thing is boosting. I don't like it. I don't like it. This thing's stacking up. We need it out of here. We need it gone. 
And this is one reason why I wish I had a uh, protect on the Earth Spoon, but Poison Jab's cool. This one's gonna be close. This one's, this one's gonna be close. Cause he takes out whoever he goes after next. I go for close combat. I go for the close combat. T bolt into this thing. Close combat. Yo, big damage. That's game. Let's go, yo. Urshfu. Always a great back end Pokemon. I feel like Urshfu is probably like top tier back end Pokemon. Can just come in and clean up any battle you want with close combats, wicked blow, or sucker punch. What did I say in the beginning of the video? I said today's video was going to be a banger, and I wasn't lying. We went 3-0 with this team, absolutely slapped up on some fools on the rank double ladder, and we dominated with this Porygon Z, Urshfu, and Regilecki. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.